Good evening. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Tonight is uh, Tuesday evening, 7 p.m., and for those of you taking time out of your Tuesday evening, I want to thank you so much for joining me. And for anybody that will be watching the recorded version, no worries. I get notifications of any comments or messages left. So if you have questions about any of the projects or questions in general, please feel free to chime in and I'll be able to answer you as well. Tonight I was going to talk about some of my, as you may know, I have hundreds of free patterns on my website. Knit, crochet, and all different types of craft projects. And tonight what I thought I'd do is narrow it down from hundreds to a few dozen patterns that are last minute quick gift ideas. The holidays are right around the corner and I don't know about you, but having a handmade holiday makes me really, really happy. I feel really fulfilled when I'm able to make handmade gifts for people, whether it's food gifts, uh, knitter crochet gifts, home deck, um, whatever. Um, Oh, hi, Beanne. Thanks for joining me. Gosh, I couldn't see at first. I guess I should be wearing my glasses. Anyway, uh, so I've narrowed it down to a few very small home deck projects, some um, garments and accessories and jewelry that are very small and quick to make. So there will be no garments shown tonight. There will be no large shawls shown tonight. It's all going to be about quick, last-minute gifts. And... Um, Without further ado, I guess we'll get started. Oh, I do have an update to show you first. Uh, I wanted to show you the shawl that I've been working on in that brand new colorway Cranberry Frost that I hand painted. And here is the update. And nice this time, I'm done with my row so I can show you this is the top. Okay, and it's going to be a half circle, so this is the t part of the top edge. And you can see, I know I mentioned before that it was going to be a lace sampler, but the first section of lace is just kind of eyelets, where we're doing a whole bunch of increasing. Here's the second lace panel. And then here's the third lace panel, which is like the very traditional offset diamonds. Hi, Mary Thomas. Thanks for joining. And then there'll be, after I finish this section, there'll be one more lace section, and then we'll be binding off. And I thought in a future uh, demonstration, as soon as I finish this, I'll show you how to block a shawl. Because if you haven't blocked a shawl before, and even if you've had and you've struggled with it, I've got some great tips and tricks for perfectly blocking a shawl. So we can do that in a future show. I just have to finish the shawl first. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's get started on the projects. And I'm just going to grab from my piles here. I'm not going to do it in any order. Um, just, I'm not going to go by yarn or by knitter crochet. I'm just going to pull out what looks bright and shiny at the moment. Although, you know what's getting my attention right now is the mirror on the back wall, and I'm hoping that you can see it. This is called Lace Reflections, and it's done in three colors of Be So Sporty yarn. And, hmm, if I take... Oh yeah, I think you can see it just fine up there. So it's done in three colors of Be So Sporty yarn, and it's with crushed berries, tropical hot coral, and passionate plum. And I have a great tutorial on showing you how to do these three tiers of edging, and then glue them to a backing that's attached to the mirror that has holes in it, so it makes it great for poking a nail through it on the back side for hanging. And then you use Mod Podge or some other type of stiffener to stiffen the lace so that it becomes a picture frame. Really cute and doesn't take very long at all. I've done it in rope, I've done it in one color of yarn, and then I did it in the three colors. And I uh, put it on display here in my office tonight to show you, but this one actually is in my bedroom. My bedroom, I, like I've said before, is all in reds, pinks, and neutrals with gold. And so this goes very nicely over my dresser. Um, but I wanted to show it to you tonight because it is a great last minute gift. Hi Chris, thanks for joining tonight. Okay, and then this one I pulled from my bedroom also. And this is a crocheted lampshade that I uh, did. And you might even recognize the stitch pattern. This is the Sweet Clara stitch pattern. So if you've already made the Sweet Clara top, you could definitely make this. This is way easier. Hi Bobby, thanks for joining. Hi Eva, <laughs> don't worry if you're late, it's okay. <laughs> Um, so it's the Sweet Clara stitch pattern, but done in just an even amount. There's no raglan shaping here, and then we bead the final scallop at the bottom. And 
talk about an easy project. I want to say I put on some movies one Saturday afternoon and did this in an afternoon. It's super quick. And it only takes half a hank of Be So Fine yarn to make. So if you wanted to do a pair of lampshades, you could do a pair with one hank of yarn. Mind you, that depends on the size of your lampshade. If you're going off of this one, that's what I mean. And this is an 18 inch diameter lampshade, I believe. Here's another uh, home deck project. I made these last year for Christmas presents. And I'm sad to say that for all, I must have made two dozen of these. This is the only one I have left. This is a candle holder. I found these little glass bubble vases on sale at a craft store. And I bought these um, battery operated flickering candles, votive candles. I don't know if you can see it flickering, but it does. It doesn't just glow, it actually flickers too. And these make the most gorgeous candle holders. The pattern comes with three different styles, so there's three different lace patterns. And I can't show you, because I've already given them all away, but if you go to the free pattern page on my website, oh, which reminds me, I, this afternoon I put together an entire blog post going over all of the patterns that I'd be talking about tonight and then some that are quick last minute gifts, and I put a link into the event page to the blog post, but if you go to my website, it's the very top blog post as well. So it'll give you links to all the crochet patterns, all the knitting patterns that are last minute uh, quick gifts, and then all of my f free recipes that I make to give as gifts as well. So anyway, this has three different styles of lace pattern, and then the pattern also comes in three different sizes. Thank you, Mary. It also comes in three different sizes. This was the medium size. I had a small bubble, this was the medium, and then the larger was about like that. So pretty, so, so pretty. I did a set for a very good friend of mine in um, Be So Fine Chantilly Light Lace, the real, um, the real white creamy color, and I did all sorts of sizes and all sorts of shapes, and oh, it was just exquisite. And she had just moved, so it was gonna go in her new house, and oh, I, I'm so glad I was able to do that for her. So anyways, great gift idea. Um, Oh, speaking of gifts, I've got some jewelry on too. This is the Venus crochet bracelet. And it, I also sell this as a kit on my website with the magnetic closure. Check out this magnet. Ah, let's see if I can get it in front of the camera. See that? How cool is that? And I'll show you some other projects that are done with this too that are also kits tonight. So that's the Venus crochet. It's just crochet chains, and I did an assortment of really cute and girly and whimsical beads. And it comes in different colorways, and the beads go along with the yarn. And then this one is, don't be sorry, Jean, it's fine. Um, this is a Tunisian wire bracelet that I've beaded. I did crystal AB beads on there, and then it has the magnet closure on the back as well. And then I have this pattern also without the beads. It's Tunisian double crochet. And then I also have it as a pattern in Tunisian single crochet. Actually, this is regular single crochet. And I do sell the uh, kit for the magnet and the wire as well. Then this was an interesting one that I did as an experiment. I combined Be So Fine yarn with a 32 gauge wire to carry them together and did Tunisian double crochet and added the magnet closure to it. And it just, instead of, instead of adding starch to your um, bamboo yarn or cotton yarn, adding a real fine uh, wire really gave it the nice stiffness that you would want from a starch without making it lose its softness. Isn't that cool? And it has a really beautiful shimmer from, I match the wire to the yarn. I don't know if you can see that on there, but it gives it a really nice shimmer. So that's a bunch of the bracelets. Oh, and then where were, oh, I guess I'll get to them, but I have the lace chokers here that I wanted to show you. They're also done with the magnets. Ah, here they are. These ones were starched because it just made sense to starch them. Um, this, is a, this is a knit lace choker, and I also have this as a kit on my website. It's knit 
sideways. So you start here and work across to here and then you block it and starch it and add the magnet closure on the back and watch this. You just snap it on the back and you're done. Oh, I should have taken the other necklace off. Isn't that beautiful? I love this one. I haven't gone out at night since I made these, but I assure you that the next time I have a chance to go out at night and be an adult, I want to wear this. <laughs> yes, yes, Chris, this one is also a free pattern on my website as well as a kit. And this is crochet, this is called the Crystal Chain Necklace. And I'll show you um, here what they look like. I also have, oh, the other thing, the blog post that I told you about that um, links to all these free patterns, I also linked to um, a playlist on my YouTube channel because a lot of these patterns already have um, tutorial videos, including this one. This is the necklace that I'm wearing. This is crystal beads on plain old chain, and then you do lots and lots and lots of strings of it. And then you do single crochet on the back to cinch them all together. This honestly could not be an easier project. And they are so pretty. Thank you, Eliza. I'm glad you like it. I love these necklaces. They're so easy to make. They're so easy to teach. Um, and again, I've got the free pattern as well as the video on my YouTube channel. And if you want to get right to just the last minute, uh, last minute quick gift videos, it's a link to the whole playlist at the bottom of that blog post that I talked about tonight. Okay, so that's the rest of the jewelry. I think <laughs> if I find something else, I'll let you know. I do have one little teddy bear in uh, Be So Brave yarn. This is in Colorway Picket Fence. And I have a whole crochet along to teach you how to do this one, as well as the free pattern. I'm not the best at making a nose, but you get the idea, and maybe you can do a better job. <laughs> oh, I have one other project I wanted to show you that isn't knit or crocheted. But thank you, Kelly, but you can get the video on my um, YouTube channel. I made this gorgeous frame with a hot glue gun and one of those frames that you get, uh, one of those rings you get at the craft store, that's the same ring that the mirror is on, and I glued belly dancer coin beads to it in an offset pattern. Isn't that beautiful? So that's another gift idea if you wanted to do more of a home deck theme for your gifts. Okay, and now, ooh, you know what I haven't shown you yet is a Be So Wild pattern. And this is the Tunisian double crochet scarf. That's the back side, and this is the front side. But to really appreciate this scarf, I really have to show you the yarn. And that's Be So Wild yarn. And this is a yarn that I hand make here in my studio. It's a super wild, <laughs> hence the name, novelty yarn where I take ribbon and sequins and glitter and mohair and I combine them all together and then wrap all of the strands together with a silk thread so it becomes one cohesive yarn. I hope that shows up and you can see it. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if you like super shiny, sparkly, wild things, you will fall in love with this. So this is one of the colorways. It's red and gold. And then this is one of the other colorways that the scarf is done in. It's done in Tunisian double crochet in a lace where there's some open holes in it. And it works up really quickly. Okay, and then let's see. Oh, then I've got a project to show you in ombre in the Be So Bold yarn that's, that I hand uh, dyed in an ombre. What's interesting about this pattern is that it starts in the center. So you see this would be the center line. And the yarn only changes one time. I'll show you the ball so it makes sense. Okay, so here's the yarn. It only changes one time. It goes from this color to that color, right? So you ask yourself, well, how did you get two stripes of pink on one stripe of the turquoise and that's because the nature of a Mobius if you start in the center you end up working in a figure eight and now that I mentioned the figure eight can you picture how this is done now and this is a one ball project 
This is the Rio Mobius, and you can find that video on YouTube. And the free pattern um, can be converted for Be So Sporty Yarn or Be So um, Bold Yarn. It just makes a bigger project with a bigger hook. Okay, where are we at now? Oh, I think it's time to look at some cowls. And I've got some knit cowls and some crochet cowls. And if anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask. I want to know if you have questions about the difficult level of the projects, how long it takes uh, to make them, if you want an idea for quicker or not as quick. So if you have any kind of questions about the patterns as well as the projects or the yarns that I used or how much yarn I used, please feel free to chime in. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Yes, you know I have lots going on. I'm always doing something. <laughs> this is one of the knit cowls in Be So Brave yarn, which is my worsted weight American Merino wool, and it's done in the round with cabling in the round. And if you haven't done cables in the round before, it's a really easy way to learn them. And then I've got, this is really interesting technique. This is a crocheted cowl done in vertical stripes. And what I mean by that is we're working in the round and we're only using one color at a time. And I'm able to show you how to hide the one color as you crochet with the other color so that you get vertical stripes even though you're going in horizontal rounds. Um, you're torn between Oh, <laughs> oh, and they're both quick. Oh, where is the shawl? Oh, here it is. Remember that cowl I just showed you that's crocheted in Be So Bold in the Ombre? Just to show you how far you can get on one ball of that yarn. It's worsted weight and 175 yards. I did this uh, shawl on a nine millimeter set of knitting needles. And I know I told you I wasn't gonna show you any shawls tonight because we're only doing last minute gifts. But this one is the exception. On nine millimeter needles, this took practically no time at all to make. I see a couple of comments. Yeah, I wish there were more hours in a day too. <laughs> I do, if only I had more hours in the day. I wish that all the time. So you could wear that traditionally as a shawl, but I think this one is also super cute wrapped around the neck like this. And this could be worked in, you could do this one in the Be So Bold yarn in either the ombre colors like this, or I also have some variegated that I hand painted. And honestly, if you wanted to make this pattern in either Be So Fine or Be So Sporty, all you need to do is go down in your crochet hook or in your knitting needle size and just work more repeats of the pattern. It's a beautiful lace pattern that really, um, the pattern is beautiful as it increases. See what I mean? It's just kind of seamless, very pretty. But to make it a last minute gift, you'll need to do it in the bold. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Oh, here's a cowl in Be So Fine. This is just super simple double crochet with a little bit of edging on both ends. And that is also a one hank project. And I have a sporty cowl done in motifs. And I did it in two colors to show you the motifs, but you could certainly do this in one color as well. And this is one of those larger cowls so that you could wear it long, but you could also easily do it twice around your neck like that as well. Let's see, where should we go from there? Oh, this one is, I think this is my the pattern name for that knit shawl, I think it's, um, I think it's just named Be So Bold Gradient um, Knit Shawl. It's a very basic name. And it's on the list in the, on the blog post tonight too. And if you just go to my free knit patterns page, it'll, it, that you'll recognize the picture of this in one of the patterns there. This one, oh hi Judy, glad you could make it. Um, this one is my favorite knit bold be, my favorite knit cowl in Be So Bold yarn. How's that for narrowing it down? <laughs> um, because of the size. I love how tall this is. Based, I like the ratio of the height to the circumference. 
Does that not look like a hug around the neck or what? I just, the way this sits makes me so happy and I'm going into some colder weather outdoors for a tennis tournament this weekend and I guarantee you this one's getting packed. It's worked in rows, not rounds, which makes it super simple. And it's based on an old fashioned stitch pattern called uh, Mrs. Hunter something, but instead of doing it in, um, what's it called? And a stockinette base, I did it in a garter stitch base so that it would be a completely non-curling and reversible project. And so it just gets seamed at the end and you could seam it as a cowl or a Mobius. So pretty. And Be So Brave yarn is so soft. It's American Merino wool. And you sometimes you may think that Merino wool is like a crunchy, uh, or the American Merino wool could be crunchy or not so soft, but I have to tell you this is incredibly soft and has so much loft, it is super duper squishy on the skin. Um, oh, here's another set of projects that I absolutely love. This is knit um, slip stitch mosaic in a chevron pattern in the round with a stockinette base. A lot of times slip stitch mosaic, if you're familiar with that technique in knitting, it's very often done in rows and in a garter stitch base. And I decided to do it in rounds in a stockinette base. And I honest to God think that this is so pretty. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then the edging are, is done in a, what do you call, a twisted rib, which I thought was a really pretty contrast to the smooth, um, smooth stitches in the middle and then I also did that as a hat and I'll show you what the top looks like very simple top well, let's try it on so you can see so that's what the hat looks like on Okay, and I think this would actually be beautiful as in felting. I think this would make a gorgeous felted bag as well. But that can be in the future. For now, we're just talking about last minute quick gifts. <laughs> okay, I've got a couple more hats to show you. This one is another version, uh, another type of cables in the round, different than that other. I showed you um, a Mobius or a cowl. Here it is. This is also in Be So Brave yarn. I showed you this one earlier that had some cables in the round, and this is a different variation of cables in the round. Isn't that gorgeous? And then here's what it looks like at the top. And I did a garter stitch brim on this one. I'll try this one on. I never know what to do with my bangs in a hat. I don't know if I'm supposed to leave them down, tuck them in. Anyway, here's what the hat looks like. Got hair in my eye, sorry. <laughs> and then I also made matching wristlets for this hat. And to make these super easy, I, um, I knit them in rows instead of rounds. And just made a nice little hole for the thumb. I mean, you can make them fancier, but these are super simple for just a really simple gift idea. And I have the second one here. Don't see it. Oh, and then here, this one's more of a masculine hat. And I did one of those invisible um, hems where you sew it to the back side after you, so you make the hat a couple inches longer than you want it to be. And then you sew the bind off edge to the inside. Actually, I didn't bind off, I sewed the live stitches to the inside. And that's explained in the pattern also. I love this hat. This one is in Be So Brave yarn in Plymouth Rock color. Definitely big enough for a man, but if you like your hat slouchy, um, which I do, because I have horrible hat hair, um, this is a great size for a slouchy hat for a woman, or it would absolutely fit a man, man too. Let's see. Oh, and then I wanted to show you this hat too. This hat I did a couple of ways. Thank you, Judy. 
Um, I did this hat a couple of ways. This one is done in double crochet through the back loop only in the round. So you see you get those free loops in every round. It started in a spiral and it comes all the way down to the bottom. Super simple. This takes only a couple of hours to make at the most. But then this one, what I did is after I had all those free loops on the hat, I went back in reverse single crochet and worked in reverse all the way around the spiral in all of those free loops all the way back up to the top. Now I did it in a contrast color to really help you understand the pattern, which, and I think it's pretty, um, navy and white look pretty for a nautical look. This is Shining Sea and Picket Fence in Be So Brave Yarn, but it would also be a pretty uh, texture to do all in the same color as well. In the one color, this is a one hank project, and when you add the second color or the textured stitches, it becomes a two hank project. And then I have one more cowl here to show you. Oh, and the little crochet uh, festival top. If you have any girls that go to festivals or do different parties like that, I know they would be happy to get one of those for Christmas. And so that pattern is on my website as well. And it's also modeled in a super cute girl, uh, a friend of my son's uh, tennis player. And, she, and we took her down to the beach and did photos and she looks gorgeous in it. And I'm sure if you showed the pictures to some of the little girls in your life, not little girls, but you know what I mean, um, they would love to have it as well. This one is the Rosette Infinity Loop Scarf. And this is done in Be So Brave Yarn in American Beauty, Orangesicle, Flamingo, and Huckleberry Pie. And it's a really long infinity scarf, uh, in really long Mobius infinity loop scarf. So you could wear it down like this, no problem. Okay, I love these colors together. Uh, and then it's definitely long enough that you can do this as well. Not only can you do it a second time, but you could adjust the length of both for different looks. I like them both longer. That looks super cute. But you could tighten one up and leave one long too. I think that looks cute as well. Whew, it's getting warm in here. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for me? Oh, I wanted this one can um, wrap twice too. Now, if you did this in the sporty version, it's a little tighter on the neck, but in the bold version, it can also be wrapped twice around the neck. Like that. Like that. Well, I'm glad everybody likes these. That's fantastic. You can see much better pictures of all of them on my website, on the free pattern pages, as well as in the, uh, in the videos, if they have videos. Oh, here's a simple knit ribbed beanie. This one's cute on too. Very stretchy. This is in Be So Brave yarn in uh, Picket Fence. And it just has a very simple cinching at the top, so this is a really simple and quick pattern. Uh, doesn't You don't even need to switch to double point needles on this one. I show you how to do some quick decreases on your double, on your, um, uh, circulars. <laughs> and then we cinch all the stitches together at the end. Like that. Um, I think that might be everything I brought out. Maybe. I think I have one more. I have a Tunisian hat. This is two color. Tunisian is so cool in two colors. When you If you change the color before the return row so that you're doing return start row, return start row, it, changing the color that way, you get this really cool woven effect. Isn't that cool? And this is in Waves of Grain and American Beauty in Be So, Bo uh, Be so Brave Yarn. And then I did the top in Waves of Grain. Now, these are all free patterns on my website. They, um, do I have a favorite hat for a man, Jen? Absolutely. This is hands down what I would think is my favorite hat for a man. Very simple, no frills, it's stockinette, it cinches at the top, and I do an invisible hem here 
where you knit it all the way down till it's a little longer than you want it and you sew the live stitches to the underside. That would definitely be a hat that I would say would be great for a man. Um, so if you want to make any of these projects, if you go to my blog, we be creating a cowl. Um, I have, there is a cowl and it's, I don't, I didn't show it tonight, but I did do a cowl that's in a spiral, Sheila, and it's on the list of uh, patterns on the blog post, as well as a free pattern on my website. And that one also comes as a, um, as a tutorial video too. Now, you can go to my blog, find the links to all of these particular patterns, or, or go straight to the free pattern pages on my website, and I have hundreds of free patterns there. I have hundreds of free videos on my YouTube channel as well. Now, if you still don't have time to do all of these projects, um, I wanted to point out that for the knitters and crocheters in your life, you could still get them yarn for Christmas. I've got Be So Fine Yarn and Be So Bold. Be So Brave. There's Be So Sporty. Be So Brave. Be So Bold. And Be So Wild. All of them are for sale on my website. There's a free coupon uh, coupon code for free U.S. shipping from now through the holidays. I also have everything on sale right now through the holidays, so there's discounts on everything. And as of today, I put together some bundles so you can save even more if you buy a few pieces at the same time. Um, and then I also wanted to point out that all of my books are on sale and just show you some of the books that I have for sale on my website. If you're looking to make doll clothes, I have 18 inch doll clothes collections for knit and crochet on my website. And these are available with kits of different accessories, including the crochet hooks and or knitting needles that you would need to make them. And here's some pictures of the cute little outfits that I designed for the book. So those are for sale on my website. Then I have The Finer Edge, which is a reference book of crochet edgings, and it's organized by style of edging. So if you're looking to add a sideways perpendicular join, a bottom up, or a top down edging to a project, that's how they're organized in the book. They're color coded by which style of edging, which construction style you're looking for. And then there's patterns in the back as well. Then I have a seamless crochet for sale, and this is the technique of joining crochet motifs as you go without cutting yarn in between. It's a really interesting technique that involves a new skill set, and it also comes with a DVD in the back where I give you a one-hour workshop going over how to learn this technique. Then I also have continuous crochet for sale, which is seamless garments and accessories. And this is just a pattern book, so there's all kinds of beautiful garments and accessories and shawls for sale. In this book, this is the first time that um, my yarns were featured in a book. Let's see if I can find the shrug. Oh shoot, I thought I'd find it quicker than that. Here it is. This is uh, Be So Fine Yarn in Crushed Berries. Isn't that beautiful? I love that shrug. Then I also have Knitting Outside the Swatch, which is a really incredible book if you've never seen it before. It's knitted motifs that you join as you go. In the concept of like crochet motifs, there is no sewing in this book. This entire hat is knit. There is no crochet or sewing involved. So not only do I teach you all sorts of different motifs in this book, but I teach you how to join them as you go. This shawl is motifs that you knit as you go in rows, not rounds, and you join them to the other motifs as you go. If you've never seen anything like this before, this book is really cool, and I think you should check it out. I also have Crochet So Lovely for sale, and this is all projects done in finer yarns. All project books, so it's garments and shawls and accessories. 
I also have handmade sample garments for sale on my website. So if you want to buy handmade by me to give for Christmas instead of handmade by you, I have a few samples left and would be happy to help you out in that department. And then I also have my coloring book for sale. It's on sale for only $3.99 and makes a great stocking stuffer for people of all ages, including kids. I hope that helps you come up with some ideas for your holidays. Uh, if, it, if you're still unsure of what to make for handmade holiday gifts, I also make, uh, made a link at the bottom of the blog post tonight and shared some of my free recipes that are handmade gifts. So like my super healthy spice nut mix, um, where I actually coat them in an egg white instead of a, a butter or oil mix. So it makes them super healthy and it still gives you that nice crunchy coating on them. And I have some energy ball ideas and some no bake energy bars and some di different variety of healthy gifts are healthy foods that are could also be handmade gifts. Last year I did the healthy spice nuts and did them in those cute little boxes and gave them to all of my son's tennis coaches for Christmas. That and I gave them the spice nuts and I gave them these, the crochet candle holders. So, if you have any questions either now or after the broadcast, please leave your comments and I get notifications so I will be absolutely happy to help you pick a project based on skill, based on amount of time, or which yarn you want to use. So thank you to everybody who joined me tonight. I know your time is special and Tuesday nights are special. I'm not sure what you watch on TV, but you obviously chose to skip something to hang out with me and I really appreciate it. So thanks again and I will talk to you soon. Bye.